Our campus is home, not just to people, but also to a wide range of biodiversity, which we have carefully cultivated in different ecological spaces. We have a range of plant species, tree species. Because of the greenery and the trees, we also have different kinds of insects, birds, uh, reptiles and amphibians that we can spot at different times. So if you look at if you look around the campus at any point of time, you can see flowering trees like the African tulip. Uh, you can also see uh, fruiting trees like amla, uh, mango and uh, tamarind. And these are all carefully planted, keeping in mind the uh, ethos of the place and the landscape, the kind of landscape that we want for the uh, university. In addition to that, uh, we have consciously also included the activities around biodiversity, which includes a campus ecological monitoring very systematically in the pedagogy and the courses. So students are, uh, have as part of their courses pedagogical ideas like sense of space to create a sense of environmental stewardship. So they do activities like BioBlitz, they also uh, do carbon mapping and through this process we want them to own the campus and be a part of uh, caring for the space as well. Trees have always been an integral part of my life. I've been around trees, I've grown around trees and even in my school I had a lot of trees around me. And to see it again on campus, it's just a feeling that's really beautiful to me. So I have really, I have three main favorites. One is the Singapore cherry. It's a tree that I've not heard of before, but when I first got to know it, that it's home to bats and it's it provides a lot of shade behind the sanati benches, wherever it is, it's so amazing. And then another tree would be the jamun tree. So jamun is a really, the, the, I love the fruit jamun and then I've also had jamun trees in my school and every time I see the jamun on the ground, it has that indigo shade and it's just so amazing to see it. But my most favorite tree and the closest to my heart would be the guava tree. So we have a guava tree in our house. Every summer we get like around 50 of guavas and we eat it, we clean it. It's such a, it brings our family together when we take the guavas as well. So seeing it again near the Kodagu and the Kodagu benches, it's so peaceful when I see it. It, it brings me my memories from home. What I really like about trees, especially on campus, I think, is how much character they add to the place. Because, for example, if you look at the peepal tree um, next to the plaza, over there, every time the season changes, then you get these new young red leaves. You get the leaves just dancing in the breeze, and it's really pretty. It has, these, it has this nice sort of musical sound that it makes, and this rustling. So I think that is something that trees sort of where it gives personality to the space. So another tree that I really like on campus, for example, is the African tulip. So these, are, these grow along the gate area. And over there, every time the fruiting season comes, then they basically drop these pods and the pods open up and there's these beautiful white seeds that just get scattered everywhere in the wind. So that also makes it really pretty. But I think if I were to talk about my favorite trees here, it would probably be these, the mango trees, because the school where I grew up in, they had this really big old mango tree. And as kids, we'd always climb it. So I think these trees sort of remind me of that place a lot. And for another, when it rains, it's really pretty because this entire area, it has a lot of these spider lilies here. So you get this amazing smell of mangoes, especially in the summer seasons. And then you have the spider lilies blooming and at night it's just gorgeous. As part of the climate change and sustainability initiatives, we uh, engage uh, actively with the students from, uh, from across all the programs of the university. And uh, one of the initiatives we have just started is uh, mapping the trees. Uh, so in one of the zones, we have uh, uh, documented uh, tree data of close to 436 trees from 25 different species. So we start with uh, uh, measuring the height and the girth. This helps us to calculate the carbon that is sequestered uh, from that area patch. In addition to this uh, measuring the trees, we also uh, use the secondary data sources and try to collect some interesting tidbits about each tree, whether it is their leaves, about their barks, some distingu distinguished features that we can identify about each tree and it is uh, uh, we put it together in a report, one page report about each tree, whether it talks about the research potential, any medicinal uses, etc.
So uh, this uh, data that we have collated about the 25 species is now uh, developed into a campus biodiversity register. So this BioBlitz activity is, uh, uh, is a report that is collated with the uh, by the students of uh, the BSc Environmental Science and Sustainability and this is part of their course, the Environment Ecology and Development course and uh, the, we continue to do this exercise over the years uh, uh, for the upcoming batches as well. So we also see the green spaces not only as uh, places for ecology and biodiversity but also uh, helping students to deal with the uh, stress, give them a certain peace of mind. We like students to sit under the trees, do their assignments, have a sense of peace and calm when they are doing it and we hope that the campus is still growing, the trees are also still growing and we hope that at some day this can become a really green uh, kind of a sanctuary uh, for both the people and uh, the different species that we are coexisting with.